stop loss washers, dryers, freezers. William Hupp says every time his neighbor's home floods with heavy rainfall, he knows his basement is next. And I had to have all the paneling ripped out, the carpet taken out, and fans down there for weeks because of the mold. Though flooding in his neighborhood isn't new to Hupp, he says having disabilities makes the cleanup effort more of a headache. It was all I could do to go out in the back garage and get the industrial strength fan and take down in the basement to turn on. Hupp says this round of flooding is the worst he's seen in all his years living on Western Avenue. Ed Reed agrees. It was up to the gas pumps over there. Reed says flooding is nothing new in Hamilton, but in his 40 years of business, this rainfall came fast and took longer to leave. It was pretty rough, and water was probably four or five foot deep out up to the wind is, wind is here, so cars coming through, waves up against the door. For several hours, Reed and five employees used buckets one after another, bailing water to prevent as much damage as they could. Still, Reed was forced to rip up carpets and move cabinets and furniture in order to be back in business today. Well, we were in the heating and air conditioning business. This is our busiest time of the year. Well, the flooding there on Main Street also closed Michael's salon last night. They said that they had to cancel every single appointment they had. So you can imagine how busy they were today making phone calls to reschedule those appointments. And in the meantime, Reed tells me that the damage done to his business will cost him about $2,000 or more. Live in Hamilton, Natalie Clark, WLWT News 5. All right.